Okay, Richie uh, asks a question. I'm trying to teach the kettlebell clean to my personal training clients. I'd say I can clean myself not too bad, but for some reason, I can't seem to coach it very well. Um, it, you know, you know, Richie, I got to tell you, uh, of all the movements in the, in the RKC6, the clean is the one that always just kind of gets shuttled off. Before I even answer your whole question, I want to get to this real quickly. You've got to swing the clean. What hurts most people when they're doing kettlebell cleans, the weights on the ground, they dead hang it. So they dead hang it so that that makes the shoulder pop. And I was taught <clears throat> at the RKC that the ear is shoulder poison. So anytime you get your shoulders near your ears with kettlebell, it's a bad thing. It also makes you look like an ogre. Um, so you got to swing, keep your shoulders packed, and then you hit it. But really, the key, and I like, the, and there's so many good uh, teaching points. Let, let's we'll put off just another second. But remember, don't dead hang, swing. Uh, the bell doesn't seem to glide into place. Huh? Mm -hmm. Having watched some YouTube's on, having watched some videos on YouTube, but still not with much success, I decided I'd ask you if I could possibly help me with verbal cl clues or other ways you might think able to help. First off, it's not a barbell clean. And I say that, okay, so on a barbell clean, there's this massive shrug, uh, shoulder point. There's wild elbows, and then you drive up underneath it. With a kettlebell clean, um, you swing, plank, and then an interesting thing happens, if you can do it, is think about cleaning the weight. Uh, I don't know how if you can see this, but when you just practice this a few times with light bells, when you clean it, think about only maybe bringing it up just, you know, maybe to your diaphragm. Don't try to bring it all the way up with the wild elbows. Quiet elbows is the key to a kettlebell swing. You want your elbows to be, okay, well, that's the position you want them to be in when you do the swing. And then all you're going to do is this, boom, clean. Swing, clean. Swing, clean. And that's it. Quiet elbows. Quiet elbows. Uh, Jeff Hemingway, a great trainer in New York. He, uh, a great kettlebell trainer in New York. He taught me to use the concept of, you know, your, your, your Johnny six gun, you, whoosh, you know, quick draw. Whoosh. That's what you got to think about whoosh, with your, with your elbows. You don't go whoosh, when you're trying to shoot someone in a quick jaw in a Western movie, you whoosh, bring them right up. Okay. Um, the other thing you got to think about too, is the finish. Uh, when you finish, you want all the forearm, all the inside of the biceps, all packed against the ribs as best you can. Um, this, <laughs> I gotta be careful how I say this, but as a broad guy like myself <laughs> with barn door wide shoulders, uh, I, I do find it a little weird sometimes, especially when I first started doing it, I was so much bigger. Cause I had a hard time getting that elbow into my rib cage, but you wanna be, boom, packed in like this. So let's go through a couple quick points. One, the clean, is a swing that ends up in the rack. Quiet elbows, and I can almost guarantee that crazy elbows are your issue. Three, uh, so point one, it's a swing. Point two, quiet elbows. Point three, six shooters. It isn't a huge, it isn't a huge amount of mo motion. The weight is gonna be light enough and the swing strong enough and the arc short enough that you don't need to do very much to get it in place. And once it does, boom, come in there, I like to have the thumb, uh, I like to have all this on the chest. To develop that, this would be point four, the rack position. Rack carries are money. Swings and rack carries uh, really help the kettlebell clean. I'm a, I, I love the quick kettlebell clean. I think there's great value to it. Um, you know, if you care about bicep development, uh, I think the kettlebell clean might be one of the best things you can do. Remember, the bicep has 
four jobs, basically. One, to do what everybody knows, you know, to make a muscle. Two is to make yourself go like this. The third thing is to hold the fist on the chest. I mean, it's this kind of motion, okay? And of course, the fourth, and when you brachiate, it becomes kind of a, uh, a kind of a tendon or a ligament. It's, it, it becomes like the hamstrings and sprinting. So <laughs> it is kind of weird to think that with a kettlebell clean as being a, a bodybuilding movement, but it really, done correctly, it, it can really be good. So for practice, swing, get a good swing, uh, rack walks. Those are two things to practice getting better. Clues, it's a swing, quiet elbows, six guns, rack. I hope that helps.